Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk about error reporting. So what is error reporting? So whenever we made a mistake in PHP code at that time, uh, screen will display an error where the actual error is happened. So that is called error reporting. And uh, let me show you how we can uh, check the errors in our code. So for example, let's take our existing existing code. I'll open error.php and let me remove the semicolon and let's see what happens. So this is basically mainly for the local host on the server it is always enabled when i say server i meant a uh, live server production server so open error.php and uh, yeah this page is showing this error but what hap what exactly happened on this page so in order to check that we have to define error reporting e all so e all means all the error notice warning whatever it is just display it now reload still it is not displaying uh, an error so in in this case what we have to do we have to open the php ini and we have to check uh, if error reporting enable in the php ini or not because from here we are telling that error reporting enable but if it's not enable from the php ini this function is not going to work so uh, let's open php uh, ini so in our, in my case, uh, I will go to applications. I am using MAMP. So I will go to MAMP bin, then PHP, then what version of PHP you are using. So I am using 7.4.12. How you can confirm which PHP version you are using so open the map and uh, preferences oh sorry here you will see php version 4.7.12 so i will go into 4.7.12 conf and here you will see php ini so i will open this php ini And in the PHP INI, search this error reporting. Control F, Command F, error reporting. Next. So, error reporting is enabled over here. If it looks like this, just remove the semicolon and right below over here display errors are off so make it on now let's try to refresh this page again still it is not displaying an error because once we change anything in php ini we have to restart the server so i'm gonna stop this wait for a few seconds and start this again now if i refresh this so it will show as an error that where exactly error happened so it says parse error syntax error unexpected echo at this file which is our error.php on line number 11 so we see that line number 11 has echo so echo it says 
on expected echo because we haven't added semicolon here now let's refresh this so once we fix the code the error will go away so this is how you can enable error reporting for the php if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video